my honest opinion on a fourth stimulus check or ongoing monthly payments specifically focused on the low income. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in this video. Let's get right into it. All right, so over the last couple weeks here, I've had a number of you reaching out down in the comments section asking, what is your honest opinion on a fourth stimulus check? What are your thoughts on ongoing monthly payments specifically focused on the low income? So that's exactly what I wanna lay out for you right here in this video. I wanna give you my honest opinion on a one-time lump sum payment, as in a fourth stimulus check, or even ongoing monthly payments for the low income. Now again, this is all based on what I am currently seeing out there with all the research that I'm doing, all the updates, all the information that I'm finding. And again, this is strictly my opinion, okay? So I could be completely right, I could be completely wrong, or I could be anywhere right in the middle. However, I do wanna share this with you simply because of those of you that have been reaching out asking for this information, I wanna give it to you and let you know what I am currently seeing out there. All right, so with that being said, let's get into the rest of this and I will lay it all out for you and let you know what I am currently seeing. But really quickly before we get into that, if you're new here or if you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video. It is totally free to be here, totally free to subscribe, totally free to watch all the videos. I am your one and only daily advocate. I'm doing all the research every single day so that you can stay updated with everything going on right now, all of these changes that are taking place, all of these different packages, bills, proposals, introductions, reform, so many other things that are being introduced and being proposed. I wanna make sure that you know what is actually going on and how all of this is going to impact us going forward. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. I'll be right here, right by your side every single day, making sure that you're staying updated and helping you grab any money, benefits, programs, anything else we possibly can right now. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into this and talk about all the details. All right, so... In order to accurately predict and accurately give you the information as far as what is going on here, we kind of need to preface all this and actually lay out what is actually going on right now in some of the announcements. All right, so let me give you some of the recent announcements that we do know have come out of lawmakers, the administration, the president, things like this. We do know that the administration has recently reached out to Congress asking them for tens of billions of dollars for more money because we could be seeing a massive surge in COVID cases later this year. A hundred million new COVID cases is what they're predicting a little bit later this year. That's basically a third of the population right here in the United States. That's a lot of people, right? So that's one reason. We do know that lawmakers have also reached out calling on another reconciliation bill sometime to be passed within the next few months here. We know that. That is a fact. We also do know that lawmakers have been in previous support of ongoing stimulus checks. In fact, over the last couple months here, the last two, three months or so, we've seen multiple different proposals hitting the table out of a variety of different lawmakers, senators, out of re uh, representatives. We've seen all kinds of talk about a variety of different stimulus type checks, ongoing monthly payments, one-time lump sum payments, all kinds of different things like this. We've talked about all the different details of this, right? So a lot of it has to do with inflation and of course, rapidly rising gas prices, which once again, we're back at new all-time highs in gas prices. So again, a lot of different things that are going on here. So we continue to see that there are many lawmakers that are in favor of continuously sending out ongoing payments for the low income and essentially anybody, anybody that they determine as low income based on their definitions of basically $75,000 of income or less each and every year and $150,000 as a married couple. Now these are generally the income thresholds that they throw out a lot of times with these proposals, but the fact of the matter is we've seen multiple different proposals hitting the table here over the last couple months, the last two, two and a half, three months or so, we've seen a lot of these hitting the table. So again, we see lawmakers are in favor of, and they do like the idea of ongoing checks and or a one-time lump sum stimulus check going out to the people. Now, we do also know a few other things going on right now. Number one would be inflation. It continues to go higher. We know that inflation is a huge, huge problem right now. In fact, the president has been out a few times over the last couple of months here talking about their plan to actually get ahead of this inflation and actually make sure that they're lowering inflation and actually alleviating some of the inflationary um, effects on families. Now, have they done a whole lot? Again, that's up for debate. I'm not here to take sides. 
Um, but either way, I think we can all see the situation going on right now. Inflation continues to go significantly higher. Now, something else we need to take into consideration as well. The Federal Reserve is raising interest rates. Again, the whole point behind this is to lower the appetite for borrowing money and spending money, ideally saving more money, therefore reducing inflation. And they're also uh, starting to do quantitative tightening. In other words, taking money out of the system rather than flooding the, the system with more fresh money, right? So we don't need to get into all the details on that. That is something that is um, you know, a, a topic of its own. But my point is that some Thing we need to be aware of. So these are a few things that are going on right now. At the same time, we also do know that the financial market, the housing market, all kinds of different things are kind of getting a little bit of pressure right now, mostly because things are starting to roll over. And we do know that also that the stock market, the real estate market, all kinds of things like this are uh, different aspects that we need to watch closely because in the event a recession, a very deep recession comes into this e economy, this country, we do know that one of the ways that they like to get out of it is by printing tons and tons and tons of money. That's generally what they do. When the United States is in, an, in a recession, the, the Federal Reserve comes out and says quantitative easing. That's a really fancy way of saying we're going to print a whole bunch of money every single month, usually hundreds of billions of dollars every single month. And then they start flooding it into the system by, um, um, by buying bonds. So that's what they typically do, okay? And again, all of this is um, individual topics in their own, but I wanna lay these things out for us right now to kind of get a better idea of what is actually going on. All right, so another big thing that I wanna lay out for you is, we do recognize the midterm elections are also coming up. Again, something we've talked about before, but also something that is very, very important on this list. Okay, so the midterm elections are coming up. Um, approval ratings, you know, they're not exactly doing the best right now. And here, I just want to make you um, make everybody aware, I am not here taking sides. I am not here making political statements. I'm simply showing you what is going on because you've asked for my honest opinion. And that's what I'm giving you here. We do know that the president's approval rating is not exactly the best right now. We do know that approval ratings for Democrats as a whole are not the best right now. And again, this is not political sides. This is simply what is really going on right now. Okay. So, Democrats still maintain full control of everything, right? The House of Representatives, the Senate, the presidency, everything like that. However, with the midterm elections coming up, that could be possibly shifting. Again, I have no idea what the future holds, but that is a real concern going forward for Democrats, possibly lo losing control of the House and or the Senate going forward. If that's the case, their opportunity to pass another reconciliation bill is off the table. It's done. It's over. It's game over for that. Well, they also know that they can get a reconciliation bill done probably relatively easily, provided they can get Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema on board with that. Other than that, that's all they really need. They need those two votes along with the other 48 Democratic senators to basically get a bill done. It wouldn't be that hard to do, but they would need to thread the needle a little bit, right? So this is something else we need to watch very closely because Democrats have made it very clear. They need to deliver for the people before the midterm elections. They've said this. People like Chuck Schumer have said this. Elizabeth Warren has come out and said this a couple weeks ago. Bernie Sanders has alluded to this. A lot of high profile Democrats and Bernie Sanders, independent, have been out saying, you know, we got to get something done here for the people. We got to show the people that we are working for them. Well, at this point, a lot of people may be a little bit skeptical as far as what is Congress really doing, right? What are they really doing for us right now? Inflation is raging. Um, the market is rolling over. There's a lot of different things that are going on. Fixed income, low income individuals out there pretty much are not being able to keep up with all of these rapidly rising prices. We've seen it with re uh, multiple different reports out there. So it's all coming full circle, right? So I wanted to lay this all out for you just so that we can see all the different aspects that are happening right here, right now to kind of set the groundwork and build the foundation of what is actually to come, what is currently going on right now, and how we can justify additional uh, money going out in the form of stimulus, ongoing monthly checks, things like this, okay? All right, so with all that being said, again, I could sit here for another hour going on and on and on about all these different things that are currently happening right here, right now. And, um, you know, just different things that are kind of leading toward that and um, making additional points as far as money that is needed right now. All right, so let's get into this and let me tell you where we currently stand with this. All right, so here's what I, where, this is what I currently see going on. And again, I'm throwing out my opinion because that's what you've asked for. This is just strictly my opinion going forward now. All right, so here's what I would say. If we happen to get a fourth stimulus check, again, 
I would not take it off the table. I would say this much. If there will be a fourth stimulus check, it will be a highly, highly focused check. And again, I want to make it very clear. This is if we get a check. At this point, nothing has been passed yet, but we do know that there are many different lawmakers that are in support of checks, either one-time lump sum check or ongoing monthly payments. We do know this, okay? Just want to make it very clear so we're all on the same page and that there's no misunderstanding and saying, you said a check was coming. No, I'm simply giving you my opinion based on what I'm seeing here. All right, so what I want to make this very clear though, here's what I could foresee going and happening. If there happens to be another check, it would be a highly, highly focused check for the low income and or the fixed income. Roughly 20 million, 30 million, 40, maybe 50 million people. In fact, not too long ago, we did hear out of the administration, they've identified about 48 million households in this country as low income. So there you go. The number might be around that 48 million number. It could be 50, it could be 45, it could be 30, but anywhere around that 48 million number because that's what they've identified as low income. All right, we've got that much. So um, again, based on these numbers, a highly focused check. Now, again, it could be monthly ongoing payments. It could be $100, it could be 200, it could be 300, something like this for maybe a short period of time. Maybe a few months, maybe six months, maybe a year. Maybe it's pegged off of gas prices, just like we've seen previously with the Tax Rebate Act of 2022. That one proposal that came out probably about two, two and a half months ago or so from that small handful of Democratic representatives. So. That is something that we could foresee going and happening is ongoing monthly checks, small amounts, again, probably $100, maybe two, maybe three, something like this. It probably would not be a thousand. It would not be even 500, just in my best guess, based on what I'm seeing out there. Um, you know, maybe a year ago, they were a little bit more generous. These days, they're not being as generous with the dollar amounts. If you've noticed some of the some of the ideas and some of the proposals and the packages that we've seen introduced lately, the dollar amounts seem to continue to get smaller and smaller and smaller each and every week that goes by, it seems like, right? So that's why I'm saying. It could be 100, 200, maybe a little bit more than that, but I would not anticipate 500 or even 1,000. I wouldn't anticipate that on an ongoing monthly basis. However, when it comes down to a one-time lump sum check, if they do happen to focus, or sorry, if they do happen to pass a one-time check, again, I wouldn't be surprised to see it being a thousand, twelve hundred, fourteen hundred dollars, something like that. I think, honestly, again, being honest, letting you know my opinion, I think two thousand dollars would be a stretch. Just being real with you, I think two thousand dollars as a one-time lump sum check would be a little bit of a stretch right now. I just. I don't know, maybe they would do it, but I'm just saying, based on what we've currently seen out there, I think 2,000 would be a little bit uh, to ask for. But I do think 1,000, 1,200, 1,400, something like this would be completely within the realm of completely reasonable as far as them to pass something. So, and again, highly focused, it wouldn't cost that much money. Even a $2,000 check for 50 million people would only be $100 billion. It wouldn't be that much at the end of the day, right? So even if they chopped it down to say, $1,400 for 50 million people? I mean, what is that? 50, what is that, $70 million? According to my mental math really quickly there, $70 billion. Again, not that much, right? They spend $70 billion all the time on little projects around the you know country or even around the world to send out money to other countries and things like this. So $70 billion in the grand scheme of things when it comes down to uh, Congress, it's not that much money, right? So anyway, this is kind of what I foresee happening. And as far as timing goes on this, kind of any time between now and pretty much the midterm elections. However, the sooner the better, but the timing has to be perfect because they know that they wanna get that money out in the event that they were to do something, they would wanna get that money out perfectly timed so that we remember who did it when we go to the midterm elections uh, out for voting, right? They do it too late and it's too late. They do it too early and it's like we might forget by the time we get out to the polls to start voting, right? So another thing too we got to take into consideration is uh, it takes time. It takes time to get legislation through Congress, right? So anyway, all of these factors combined, that's where I'm currently sitting right now. And again, my opinions, okay? That's what you've asked for. That's what I'm giving you, okay? Just want to make sure that we're all on the same page here. I don't need anybody saying, you said, you promised. You're right. I did say, I said my opinions because that's what has been asked of me.
Anyway, hope this helps you out. Of course, as I get more information on any of this detail, I'll be right back here for you, breaking it all down, letting you know what I have going on out there and any information that I'm finding. So please enjoy your day. I hope this helps you. Leave your comments and questions down below. Subscribe if you have not done so yet. Totally free to do so. Also share the video with your friends, family, social media. And of course, go back and check out any of the other 2,500 videos or thereabouts right here on the channel. Please enjoy your day. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you again later.